What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 27 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. So we're going to continue here. We're in Melee City. Um, once again, able to ride around on our, excuse me, on our Pokemon after the earlier part of this where we could not. Mm, Probazor. Whoa. Why, hello there, Rotom. Never better. Zzzzt. So, Rotom knows this guy. No way! That's Professor Oak! <laughs> Look how tan he is! He looks black almost! He's so tan! Uh, Samson Oak, Pokemon Research, and I'm looking into the region, regional variants that are found around here. Oh my god, guys, this is Alolan Oak! This is a different, oh my god, this is a different oak than the oak that's in Kanto. This is a lowland form of oak. This is hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. He's gonna be in the library. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow the pattern and it'll get you there. Circle, triangle, square. Oh, I see. It's just on the road. Well, that's fine. Just fine. Uh, we got a store here. Hey, whippersnapper. Quick link lets you connect to by nearby in a flash. This never thought. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of trainers about. What's this? A restaurant? Malasada? Malasada. They have these, like, in every town. And while it's very cool... Still don't really get it. But I think the point is just to raise happiness. I'm guessing. But I, I don't know. Friendly neighborhood policeman. Trial goer. To the left. Route 10. Down. Route 11. Uh, he's telling me to head to the library. So he's not letting me go down to Route 11. Which I didn't really want to do anyway. Uh, this is probably a restaurant. Um... More, okay, if I'm here to eat. I'm just checking to see if there's anything, anyone has any items to give me here. Fuff! Mmm... Please trade... Hapini for Pancham. I don't have Pancham. But I'm assuming that there's one available somewhere near-ish by. So that's good to know. That's a key figure. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, trade. Hapini. Oh, wait, no. It's Pancham for a Hapini. And that's in, um, Melee. City, uh, restaurant. Good to know. Key figure. Keeping that on my notes. We got Route 10 over there. This is a pretty big city, I gotta say. Why am I being silly and not getting on my Tauros? Look how big this place is. That's the recycling plant. Not that I'm saying you can't visit it if you're interested, just thought you should know. Yeah, Melee City Outer Cave. So that's also an area I'm not supposed to go yet. This place is just so big. Um, can't get through that route. I'm not really trying to go anywhere else, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Got another building here, uh, looking like the salon. Okay, not looking to get saloned up right now. This is a, another clothing store. I don't have a lot of money right now because I've spent almost all of it on um, 
on my TMs, and I want to. It looks like I'm kind of keeping par with what's necessary in order to afford all the TMs every time I see them. Alola. Can't go in there. Good. I'm actually glad that that's, that's not an explorable location. Actually, no, I don't want to be on the Taurus right now. I want to be on a Stoutland. Just in case there's hidden items abound. So there's Lily. She found her way here. Oh, boy. Geo, I'm sorry. I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost and ducked into the apparel shop, and I saw this outfit, and I thought it was the last one I had in stock, so I bought it, even though I don't think I ever have the guts to wear an outfit like this. Ha. Huh? Told me where to find the library. All for the best. Keep going. Look, a Clydesdale. Nay. Yeek. Hey, it's that girl again. So she's Hapu. So she's the kahuna here. Geo, been a while, friend. So she's a ground type... Uh, she's gonna give us the ground type little gem. So Geo, who might this be? Oh, hello. My name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Oh, I called it Clydesdale, which is actually, I think, the horse. She doesn't look like a trial goer. How can people... She's studying Tapu's ruins. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to s show you the way wherever you'd like to go. My Muds Day here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry two. Thank you for the offer. Nay. <clears throat> the way they go. Shall we check the library first since we're here? Sure, let's do it. Seven minutes of running around this city. I'm about ready to I'm about ready to get back on with the game Very old books and legends legendary Pokemon from another world And a lot of people in here uh, Did mainly say she'll be upstairs or am I just hearing things? No, she said she'll be upstairs Oh, so you can you can't use fly to fly around here? Yes, it is. Wow, so it's a real thing. It's supposed to be a whole different region. But then how do folks in... On a Charizard. With a ride pager. Special gear that can call Pokemon. I heard Alola had a great transportation system, but it's really true. Huh? Thank you for teaching me about things in a row. Here, you might as well have this. Nice! So Fly is now a TM. Uh... Back where I'm from in Johto, this kind of TM isn't a big deal. They're called hidden machines because they're so hard to get your hands on. But I guess it's just another TM. Maybe you can use it in battle or something. That's exactly... See, that's... Oh, man. I'm so happy that they did this in this game. You know, they still have the moves. They still exist. You can still get them. Um, but they're... There's something completely different, you know? Regional variants. They arise when influences of a particular region cause a Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. Local Persians. Wait, is he saying he wants to see a local Persian? If you have caught one of the local Persians, the regional variants, I would quite like to see it. Okay, so that's a side quest. Um, Oak, uh, okay, Alola Oak wants to see um, Alola Persian, and he's in the Melee Library. So we actually have two uncompleted side quests at the moment. Um, Oranguru from the lush jungle. Oh my god, I was stupid and didn't write down who it was that wanted to see that. Was it in Coney Coney City? I feel like it was in Coney Coney City, but I, st I really don't super remember. So let's just write that there for now. But So there's Mer. Mer. Anyone's welcome to read books. I uh, can't really communicate with any of the books on the wall here, so let's head upstairs. It's a cool looking library. Little girl in the corner. Must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. Oh, this must be one of the uh, trial goers, or trial champions. Captains, they're called. Captains. Probably a ghost type one. 
Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, uh, of course. She says. Sitting down with her bag. It's titled The Light of Alola. It's just, um, read it aloud, shall I? The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where it had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pall on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such finished things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life, a fragile heir in Alola born, that island guardians would keep them from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lu Lunala with song of flute. Two tunes, two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. That's a nice little poem. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. Wait, I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yes, it belonged to my dad. I don't... I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's book moves here, and they didn't get ruined by Pokemon. I'll tell you lots of old stories about Alola, too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I'd be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay, but I know you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Geo? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula's Island Electric-type trial can only be reached on the bus on Route 10. Very cool. There are plenty of Pokemon on Route 10. Let's go visit a few. Guardians and the Ancient Kings. In ancient times, the Tapu served as the leaders of armies of each island's king, but if they used their Z-power in battle, it caused great destruction across the islands. Because of this, the Tapu came to no longer lend their aid in the wars of men. Very interesting. Tapu chose the Kahunas of their islands and entrusted them with special sparkling stones. This is the reason they used to make such a choice. However, it's not apparent to observers. Blah, blah, blah. The Tapu regularly keep themselves closed, tighten their shells as they've absorbed nature's energy. After many long years of absorbing such energy, their shells become hard and sturdy. The legendary Pokemon and the Tapu. A great and terrible battle waged between the Tapu and the legendary Pokemon, but neither side could claim victory over the other. Upon finding themselves equal, the legendary Pokemon then gifted the Tapu with great power of unknown patience. I think that's what the last word said. I, I, I hit go forward before I had a chance to... Uh, to complete it so we're done in the library here we have been goaded to route 10 um so let's uh let's be on our way on to route 10 no this is route 11 this person just healed my pokemon which is excellent Young boy with an island challenge element. Your Pokemon are healthy. Thank you for noticing my amulet and also for healing my Pokemon. This is Route 10. Yeah, this is Route 10. Trial goer. Uh, yeah, I'd be happy to help. Side quest. Stuffle hadn't been getting much exercise lately, so look at the balls to let it run around a bit, but they haven't come back. I want you to look for them, but it's hard for normal like me, like blah blah blah. If you find one of my little stuffle, you tell them to come back to me. They're impish creatures, but smart as a cookie, with noses that can sniff out anything. They'll find their way back home to me. Will you help me find my stuffle? Sure. Eight stuffle hiding. So side quest. Find eight stuffle. Route ten entrance. From Maywe. Very cool. There's a tree rustling here. Let me get off this. Walked by a tree, landed right on my head. It looked like a bird. Like a Fero. At least a silhouette of a Fero. It was a Fero. Okay. Still waiting on Nips to evolve. Uh, we got a trainer battle there. And a conspicuous rock that had a lemonade under it. Which is a weird thing to be under a rock, but... And a battle! 
Ridiculous power. Secret fire. Sacred fire? Decisions? Decisions, cause I want it all, so I get it all. That's actually the song that I took the, the name for Decisions from. Fun fact for you GBA fans out there who are also watching my LP. And let me know in the comment section if that is the case, because I'm actually curious how much of my viewership on my LPs is carried over from people who watch my GBA battles. Alright, Nips was just barely able to take on a water-type Pokemon. <laughs> Goose grew to 21. I don't need Goose anymore. I need to catch something new. I really want Comfy. I've been waiting on Comfy. Let's check the, uh, let's check the grass here. Nope, just a gumshoe. Uh, looks like we have a an item here. Ooh, with some Pokemon feeding on the berries. Is it another McBro hiding under there? Crab Brawler, it is. I just switched Crab Brawler back on my team, so I'm going to be upset if this one's actually a higher level than McBro. It's way higher level. It's way, way higher. Okay, so... Uh, Dizzy Punch. Takes out Nips. Nips goes down. Damn it. So I had this McBro take place of my old McBro, and now I'm going to pick up the remaining berries here. I thought I saw something behind the tree when the angle of the view is a little bit different. There's a lot of berries here. A lot, a lot, a lot. So we grab all those. There was an item back here. It's one of the uh, snuffles, it looks like. So that's one. Here's two. Stuffle, not Snuffle. Oh, conveniently, there's a little person that heals my Pokemon right here. Uh, there's a bird Pokemon that's going to fly out of this tree and attack me. And it looks like a Fero based on the silhouette. Down goes the Fero. There's a Stuffle there. That's three. Still looking for eight. I'm backtracking a little bit just to see whether or not I kind of forgot one in the hidden view of anywhere here. Doesn't look like I did. The trainer. Looks like a beauty nearby. Beauty Andrea with a Steeny. Steeny goes down, Fromantis levels up, and gets Synthesis, which is interesting because that's the move when we fought the Totem that the Totem had. So maybe, just maybe. Aww. I was hoping that he would level up right there and evolve, but I suppose not. There's another one of the Stuffles, so we're at. Four. That tree is shaking, so there's probably a Fero in there. Uh, there's a Zygarde cube here. A Pokemon trainer next to me. No, not a, not a trainer. What did he say? Buses can get a whole lot of people to where they need to go all at once. There's a Stuffle behind that board. That's five. What did the sign say again? You can move icons around on the X menu to place them where you'd like. Oh. Cool. Good to know. Uh, they actually did a pretty good job organizing them so far. I see a Stuffle next to me in the grass here. Uh, what is that, six? I'd like to see what they have in the grassy areas here. It's a brand new island. They gotta have something new for me. 
But so far, all I've found is gumshoes. Just for funsies, I caught a Fero there. Got another Stuffle there, and I saw one to the left. So it looks like that should be the end of this quest. Which means I'm assuming we're at the very tail end of this route. Uh, and we see a Copper here. Copper. Yeah, see? We got a old Copper here, see? Police Officer Mitchell. With a Growlithe. Okay, so that guy's down and out for the count. We're going to head back over to turn in this quest that we took at the beginning. Oh, you child. All my stuff will have made it back. Thanks. Here's what I owe you. A Never Melt Ice Held item. Uh, which is, you know... Not great. Oh, and some money. Not bad. A good amount of money, too. 15,000. Considering we were just going through this area and not really going for anything unique. Don't mind that awkward transition. I had a phone call. So, I... Getting attacked by another Fero from the trees. Um, okay, guys, before I end this episode, I'm going to run around in the grass here a little bit, kind of looking for any new Pokemon. It's a brand new area. I've only seen Young Goose, Lady N, and Fero here. And so I'm just going to do a quick run around before I end this episode and see whether or not there's any new Pokemon. So I'll just cut through this. Okay, not bad. Uh, just running by one of the trees, we see a Skarmory. Which is a really cool find. I imagine that's somewhat rare to see. Um, so. Skarmory is caught. A lot of experience for, for the rest of us, too. Nice! So what we see is a Pancham, and at this point, I'm about, I was about, I was this close to calling it, guys. I didn't, I really didn't want another battle, so, uh, I'm, I'm honestly gonna kind of leave this one where it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this guy with a leaf blade and catch this Pancham. It feels so good to finally see something new. Running into gumshoes over and over and over. At this point, uh, if there's anything else in these, in the woods here in the grass or in the trees I, I just don't want to I don't want to look anymore <laughs> that pan champ so actually before we head off to route 10 I'm actually going to go trade this pan champ for a hapini and maybe I should breed it first no I'm going to go get it I'm going to go get a hapini oh he had an item on him did he? Shoot, I need to go check the, uh... Check in at the Poka Center and see what item he had on his on his little hands before I, before I trade him. A mental herb. That's a really cool item. Um, actually, so I remember in previous games, if a Pokemon was holding an item when you traded him, the Pokemon that you received would be holding an item also. So I'm actually going to give this guy... I'm just going to have him hold a potion. So that when I trade him, the traded Pokemon will be holding an item too. And that would be really cool. If it works like that. I'm going to heal up while I'm here. And we're going to trade that Hippini and we're going to run to the end of the route and then we're going to end the episode. And this episode will just have been an exploration of Route 10 and uh, and two side quests completed, which... Nothing to... Uh, nothing to snooze about. Not that you guys were snoozing. I know you guys aren't snoozers. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. You. 
Yes. Please trade my Hippini for your Pancham. Absolutely. I hope your Hippini is holding an item, and I'm hoping it's a lucky egg. I would love to have a lucky egg right now. Bye-bye, Hippini. Momo. Momo. Mm. Purple water. Look at him. Cute little peeny. Ah, cute! Cute! Take good care of her peeny. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Hooray! Um... Because it's not offering to put it in my party. Because it's not putting it in the party. Uh, I, or didn't offer to put it in the party since it traded directly from the box. I think I have to go to the box to see whether or not it was holding an item. So let's do that. Charge! And Trar, a key. Alright, what do we got? Not holding an item, so I'll just, yeah. I'll, I'll just go fuck myself then, that's fine. I don't get what these search features are. Oh, there we go. So I can grab multiple at once. Um... You know what? Goose has evolved, so let's um. Yeah, let's get Mudbray. See, see, bad skits coming back on the, coming back on the team here. Still waiting on an evolution from Fromantis, Bugnitude, See Bad Skit, and McBro. Uh, we've got a fully evolved Bouncy here, and Bouncies, look at this, guys. Attack stat 105. That's crazy. That's really good. Lil P is actually kind of rocking it in the special attack, special defense department also. So, all right. So let's keep moving then. We're gonna head. F We're gonna head forward towards our little uh, our little friend the end of route 10 we're gonna battle some team skull thugs and then we're gonna call it one of those days I've been hearing it's I've been hearing so much about you know call it a day hit the old dusty trail oh my god I'm actually on a dusty trail perfect no mm. skarmory again you know what makes me happiest about this uh this whole no longer there being HMs thing. The thing that makes me the happiest about that is that I no longer need an HM slave. I can build a full team of six. I can use the Pokemon I want. And before they'd always say, no, just teach the HMs to those Pokemon that you want and just use a full party of six that you want. It, it never works out well. It, you always need an HM slave. What? You never seen somebody take a bus stop before to go before? Hey, yo, you trying to steal our bus stop? Best go find your own, you heard? Shing, Team Skull. Looks like we battling. Team Skull Grunt. What you got? Zubat. Golbat. Hmm. Four times resisting McBro's power-up punch, huh? Might not be the best idea for me to stay in here. And yet, I'm gonna do it anyway because I like to live dangerously. God damn it, he went for air cutter. No! Look, bro. Oh, God. Hey, I said I like to live dangerously, right? What can you do? Uh, who's got the, um, the amulet coin? Great, another bug or another grass type. You probably won't be able to survive an air cut. You know what? I can survive one, but I'm not going to do anything in return. 
There's no point in me staying in here. I've gotten the boost that I needed. Now I can switch out. More P can kill anybody. An air cutter is going to do negligible damage to me. And Sparkling Aria is an amazing move. And I'm a mermaid. So take that, Golbat. You stupid grunt. Bouncy's leveling up. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, good. I have to battle another one. And I'm not leading with my amulet coin Pokemon, so I have to switch every single time. And all these Pokemon are po- oh. Raticate. Oh, no, because McBro died in the last battle. Two grunts down at the bus stop. And a Route 10. Talking about chill. Living large at the mansion. And they're running away. Kakui's here. What's going on? It's Team Skull Punks just ran past me in the other direction. Yeah, sure wish they'd challenge the league instead of getting up to no good all the time. The league? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Just you wait, cousin. Whoa. But first things first, if you want to head up to Mount Hukulani, we should take the bus. They'll blast you up to the top, yeah? Quick as a sky uppercut. Well then, when is that Executor Express going to come? Maybe the bus stop will give a clue, huh? Well, let's go ahead and save now, and let's call this an episode, because this, feel, this feels like a really long one. I wonder how long it'll be after editing, but there was a lot of battles there. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and on the next one, we're going to head up the mountain on the Executor Express. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.